Fuck Alana, fuck Jonathan, fuck Waheed, all three. They were my closest friends. They're all, they're all fucked off. And my family. I never want to see them again either. Especially my parents circumcising me. No, 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 no. Fuck you. That was mine. Fuck you. Fucking what? Strapping my legs apart when I was a baby? What the fuck? It makes it like 90% worse. It's there for a reason. Oh, mankind's been doing it for thousands of years. Well, guess what? Mankind's fucking retarded. Are you fucking stupid? No, that's fucking retarded, man. You fucking ask me when I'm an adult, and you know what I would say? Tell that doctor to go, that, that butcher, to go fuck himself. We do it when you're a baby so it wouldn't hurt. Well, I wouldn't have had, had it done. You fucking... Should have been my choice. Fuck. It's fucking planet. I want to leave this fucking planet. And I try everything to get this girl back, even though... Why did I want her back? Like, fucking, I sent her 60 giant-ass emails. I, you know, pushed her farther away. I made every mistake in the book. Believe me, buddy. Fuck. She couldn't forgive me for overreacting. She couldn't apologize for what she did. Just silence. Never want to see you again. That is so mean. That is so... You don't fucking do that. She stabs me and then closes the door. Because my screams were annoying. Closing the door when we, when we live in the same house or area. Yeah, we're going to run into each other and then bottling fucking Satan and then... She like provokes me and then I explode. I mean, yeah, okay, I was maintaining this. Look at me, I'm so happy. Look at me on the kayaks, on the horses. Look at me with all those girls. You better get jealous. Whoa, my life is awesome. I got a truck. Look at me, I know how to play the guitar like a pro. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, I'm so effed and fuck all. And then, you know, I run into her. Hey, Alana. All happy. She's like, go away. I'm like, okay. Happy, don't give a shit, persona. Bottling Satan. Guess what happens when she comes out of nowhere and starts insulting me? Like, okay, she was like, I was walking. It's in the dark. She's waiting for me, right in front of my path, waiting, blowing my nose. She's like, ew, that's disgusting. I'm like, oh no 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 no. I'm like, you treat me with respect. She's like, she just keeps insulting me and stuff, like throwing rocks at me, and then doesn't expects me to do nothing. She wanted to provoke me, and then. Yeah, I'm following her. Stupid me. Fuck, shouldn't have done that, but she just pissed me off so much. And I'm like, you treat me with respect. You leave me alone. I'm being as nice. I, like, I apologize for everything. Blah, blah, blah. I'm being as nice to you as possible. Like, I mean, at that point, I just wanted to live peacefully. Like, I lived so close to her area. I just wanted to live peacefully in the same area. That's it. Like, fuck off. Like, I was like, I changed. I'm better now even though she cheated. Yeah, so I'm like, and then, and then she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. don't follow me, I'm gonna call the police. I just, like, when you're bottling fucking Satan, just trying to be all, act like you don't give a shit, and they she start, starts throwing mud in your face, and it's just drag, sitting, waiting for the bus, her mom comes out of nowhere, you skip those two buses. And I'm like, I don't want the 44, I don't want the 84, I want the 7, Keep coming out of nowhere, monitoring me like hawks. Live near your area. I go to many places that just happen to be close to where you live. Fuck off. I'm being nice. Just don't talk to me then. Getting the police up my fucking ass. Saying, never talk to her again, never talk to her again. <laughs> Trying to make peace. She cheats, she fucks me up. Now I'm gonna overreact. Well, I shouldn't have, but no experience, you know? The whole thing is just, it, it just melts my fucking brain. I have, I have never endured so much fucking stupid. Fuck this planet. I wish you could fly. I want to go to a jungle. I'm lost in my own thoughts. I'm alone. She doesn't get it. Heartless. No guilt. No shame. Oh, it's all my fault. Instead of apologizing, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, I never want to see you again. What? I think she hates me because she got caught. She exaggerates all my little tiny mistakes to compensate for her guilt. That's the only way it makes sense. I apologize for everything. 
handwritten apology letter given to her in person. Yeah, okay, you broke my heart and then you closed the fucking door. I was like crying nonstop. I, I, and then I'm stuck in her area. Everything reminds me of her. This area reminds me of her. I can't afford to move away. I'm trapped in fucking hell. Police up my fucking ass, arrested me, threw me in jail. I gotta go to court now and shit. In jail, there was like this Chinese guy who was just like totally batshit insane. He was like, yeah, yeah, he fucking huddling inside his shirt like a, a turtle. I felt bad for him, gave him my apple. Like, my, my brain is. <sighs> like, what did you think was gonna happen? Why couldn't you respect the fact that I just want to be friends? That's it. You, we'd still be friends today, but no. You had to like try your best to convince me to you just like had to make that promise. You just like I didn't want I didn't want to be more than friends. I didn't I just wanted to be friends. Like just want to be friends, but no. Just forced ugh, I was refusing and just forced it until I was like, okay, fine, but you gotta promise and you yeah, you promised, and then you broke it immediately. No fucking shame. Like, who fucking does that? Want to make out? Okay. to the dark side of the forest so she, if she came back tomorrow she's still gone that girl I fell in love with is gone forever I don't want her back fuck that you stay the fuck away from me I hope you're happy okay and I will always treasure the good times we had together playing Skyrim gazing at the stars playing frisbee all those happy times that fucking haunt me I wish I could erase it but I can't it's like that fucking past with all three of them. It's just gone forever. It's so fucked up, so different. It makes me sick. Fuck mankind. I can't take it. Try so hard. Just making everything worse. Getting the cops on your ass and shit. Lately, fucking trolls found her number, filled her inbox, kept calling her. Society has royally fucked her up and I feel bad for her. It's a helpless situation. I can't help her. I wanted her back so badly. I was trying to guilt her. It's all your fault. <laughs> or, or like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, look, I'm so happy. <laughs> Fucking. Or explaining everything. I did this because of that and that because of that. And <laughs> man can only endure so much before he fucking cracks, man. Colton, another friend that I never want to see again. He gives me these uh, video game magazines. Cool, he's finally being generous. Thank you. Then he gives me $20. I'm like, whoa, $20? Cool. Then I'm like, where the fuck are my video game magazines? He uh, went into my closet and uh, secretly took him back. His mom was like, no, I gotta take him back. So he took him back without telling me. That's fucking theft. They were mine, you gave them to me. You don't fucking do that. What the fuck? Had he been like, yeah, my mom wants uh, wants me to get uh, take those uh, magazines I gave you back. I would I would have been like, okay, but all behind my back. Fuck you. Then he gave me twenty dollars to compensate for it. No, fuck off, man. My brain fucking hurts. Explaining, apologizing, fucking trying everything. Can't get through to her. A giant fucking wall. Impenetrable wall of hatred. Just because she got caught? I don't fucking know. What a waste. This beautiful university graduate can have any man she wants. And who does she choose? Everyone. Including the worst. What a fucking waste. She still doesn't feel bad. That's what creeps me out. She doesn't feel bad at all. She should be crying like, Oh, I'm sorry, I, she fucked it all up. I continue the chain reaction of bullshit because I went batshit insane, but she still pulled the fucking trigger. Had you just respected my choice of just wanting to be friends, we'd still be friends. She's like, we're gonna be friends forever, right? And then I'm like, yeah, friends forever. She's gone transformed. Miss her so much. It's like she's dead. Bottling so much pain. It's like a rhinoceros jamming its horn through your stomach. You can't breathe. You can't think. 
Every breath is pure fire. I was gonna go to South Africa. I was gonna bring you with me. And I went on fucking online forums, right? I was like, look, Alana, I never assaulted you. Everyone says I didn't. Look, Alana, everyone says you cheated. Every single person said, forget about her. Every other man would have fucking ditched her. I was willing to look past it all. Look, look what everyone else is saying. You know what she says? She calls my mom. Alex is spreading internet rumors about me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? I never revealed her identity. I wanted to convince her so badly. She just twists it around and just like every good thing you throw into her little dome of hate gets twisted and manipulated and thrown back at, at you right in your face just she's like oh he's been sending you long insulting messages yeah i have okay well criticisms called her manipulative and stuff i only said the truth my mind's fucking all fucked up you know i wanted to guilt you so you'd feel bad because you don't feel good you should i'm still sorry for everything but you know what you should have apologized first you can't apologize you can't forgive me for merely overreacting to everything that you did to me and then any man in the set of circumstances that she put me in would have gone insane had she been in the circumstances that she put me in she would have gone insane I, that's a fact because she fucking two cities away because i was just ignoring her that was it when you live so close it's so easy to just make excuses to flaunt your existence so confused like so much love so much hate so much confusion so much doubt i hated my i still fucking hate myself for overreacting so much self-blame i hate me i hate her i hate everyone so much fucking stupid she doesn't even understand me there's a fucking reason for everything i'm explaining because you did that and that and that. That's why I'm like this. She just sees the surface. It's like you fucking slap the monkey on its face and then the monkey slaps you back. And then you hate that monkey. Oh, the monkey slapped me. Get away from me. I wonder why the monkey slapped you. What did you do to the monkey? Look at yourself to understand the monkey. Look at yourself to understand me. It's just... go fucking insane. It's just nothing gets through to her. It's less frustrating. It's less frustrating trying to convince this rock. Look, I'm a reflection of what you did to me. I, all my bullshit is a reaction to what you did to me. It's just, I'm reacting to, you are the source of the severities that I am reacting to. So instead of accusing me for reacting, why not address the sources of the reactions? Because if you address the sources of the reactions, then the reactions will stop. Just don't cheat on me again. Let's just stay friends. Then how would I react again? Right? At least a fucking rock doesn't talk back with stupid ass success. Uses. And the fact that she doesn't give a shit, that's fucking psycho. A true psycho doesn't feel. I want to go fly to Mars. She just tells me to move? You cheated. You should be banished, not me. Why should I move? Fuck off. We share this area pretty much. Leave me alone. I'm trying to fix everything. Lana, want to be in a movie? Lana, I've got a boat. Lana, Justin Bieber. He's my best friend now. Nothing works. I don't know why I want her back. After I walked out of that Starbucks, Never should have looked back. Stupid me. And the fact that like a human so heartless as her exists on this planet makes me sick. No compassion. It's just... Yeah. And yeah, you know, I sent that conversation to her mom. I mean, she was talking to my mom and then I wanted her mom to know because that shit's fucked up. Next time, she's gonna go inside some stranger's house, he's gonna like rape her or kill her or I said all this to her mom and nothing. She's like suffocating her, so overprotective and just I feel helpless. It's like a glass window and then it's like a, a fox on fire. But just, just can't you just can't do anything. You got this fucking bucket and you just gotta watch. Watch and just that's what it feels like. Like I'm not allowed to talk to her anymore now.
but fuck, why? I don't want to. I never want to see her again. Can't go near her area. Just so close to my area, and it's just, I'm in fucking hell. I'm here trying to escape the planet. There's still fucking humans frolicking about. I wish I could go back in time and fix everything, but I fucking can't. And like all those messages, I thought, maybe this one will have the magic words. Maybe this one will have the magic words. Maybe this one, this one. Did... Like there must be a way to get through to someone. It can't be an impenetrable wall of hate. I'm in so much disbelief. I don't want to believe that the girl I was with for four years is evil. Was she under a mask the entire time? Was it all a big giant illusion? I don't know. That freaks me the fuck out. The whole time she could have been sleeping with, with other guys and freaks me out. I feel so bad for this girl. Guys, fucking her, don't give a shit. She doesn't realize it. Yeah, I was being all needy and desperate and shit, but fuck. And then I made those lip sync videos, dedicated them to her. Eh, did fuck all. Oh yeah, I, I acted like a complete lunatic, totally. Being all nice and happy, hey Lana, how's it going, you know? And she's like, go away, and I'm like, okay. I'm bottling Satan, right, when she fucking comes out looming from the darkness. Ew, it's disgusting, blowing my nose, just whoosh. Wanted to understand everything and or resolve everything. To understand everything, I have to resolve everything, which means I gotta maintain this nice, I don't give a shit persona, bottling fucking Satan, right? I should be allowed to go anywhere in my own area, live peacefully without them monitoring me like fucking hawks, right? And now, just fuck it. Just fuck off. Like, yeah, the fucking cops are like, yeah, man, you can't go on this bench when you go to these uh, coffee shops, in and out, can't linger too long, and I'm like, so fucking unfair and just totally stressing me out. Fuck. So yeah, I sent her a message. I said, leave me alone or I'm going to send that conversation to all of your friends. I just wanted the madness to fucking stop. It didn't fucking work. She called the police and I, I never sent the conversation to all of her friends. I just can't. I can't sink myself down to her level. Did the no contact rule for one month. Called her, I was drunk, so nervous. I got drunk to suppress the energy. Stupidest thing I ever did. Called her, she's like, stay the hell away from me. Fucking snapped, called her a billion times. Got so depressed, took 10 Advil tablets. Thought it would do the trick. Yeah, dude, I was fucked. Just wanted the nightmare to end. I just didn't want to face the fact that the girl I fell in love with, even if I get her back now, she's still gone forever. She transformed or was always behind a mask. Hates me because I saw her under her mask. She can't portray her sweet and innocent being to me anymore and you would never expect her to with all those guys. You'd, you'd never expect it. I refuse to believe. It's just no. No. It doesn't make sense. Had she cheated, why does she hate me? No, it, it's it's all me. Has to be. She, she doesn't look like that kind of girl. So much self-hate. Oh, I should have contained my emotions. Never should have hugged her, never. Then I asked her in real life, were you gonna sleep with them? She said nothing. Then I knew. She can't even admit the truth, just say it. Had she apologized right away, I would have forgiven her. I would have. Would any other guy have? Fucking drowning in my own thoughts. Stuck in her area. Can't forget about her. Songs play, I have to fucking leave. Some movies I can't fucking watch. Fucking hurts, man. Thinks I'm a psycho. Yeah, I was just acting like a psycho. After all that shit, and you don't fucking say to a man, he's down on the ground, he's crying, says I wanna die. You don't fucking say then die and then walk away. Like, now's the chance to escape. Like one of my friends killed himself over a breakup. She never said that to him. You know what happened. I know what happened. Everyone else doesn't know shit. I just want you to fucking understand what you did. That's it. And I hope you find a wonderful man. I hope you're happy. What a fucking waste. Cheating on me with a troll. Sheep man. Apparently, yeah, I assaulted her when I hugged her without her consent. She never pushed me away, never vocally informed me to go away, never 
ran. She was emoting that she wanted to be left alone, but because I was all fucked up, I didn't see it, wasn't thinking. And then when I was like, stop, let's just talk for a while. That was assault too, apparently. Now, okay, all right. So a man hitting a woman is worse than a woman hitting a man, but a woman hitting a man is worse than a man hugging a woman or trying to block a woman's path. I mean, right? You've got pain versus fear of pain. Should there even have been fear of pain? I've never hurt her, ever. Should she have feared anything? I mean, and when she hit me five times, dug her nails into me, bit me, it was all out of anger, it was all deliberate. Yeah, I understand there is a double standard, but it only stretches so far. It blows my fucking mind. Like, obviously if you do this and that and that and that, I'm gonna go fucking insane. She just sees, oh, he's insane. Doesn't think below the surface. Just doesn't, all that, no fucking surface shit. All she sees is, why is he all being all emotional and shit? I mean, she was emotional in the past. So, like, I can't follow her living a 10 minute walk away, but she can follow me living an hour and a half travel away. She can punch me. I can't hug her when she doesn't want to be hugged, even if I don't know that. It just, just, she can be emotional. I can't be emotional. Blows my fucking mind. More humans. Yeah, I'm never gonna... I did some stupid fucking shit. I'm not gonna... I have learned from my mistakes. Has she? I said, okay, yes. You're right, I assaulted you, I'm sorry. I stalked you, I'm sorry. I should not have been that emotional. I'm sorry, I apologize for everything. She never apologized for a single thing. Not for saying, then die. Not for the cheating, not for the yeah, taking advantage of my trust. Where the fuck does she live? I want, I want, I seriously, I want to enter her brain. I just want to see where the fuck she's living. I, I want to fucking, like it's probably some fucking wonderland and fucking all distorted and shit. Wonderland on fucking acid or some shit. I want to fuck. Who's my fucking mind? Like, I mean, yeah. Man hitting woman worse than woman hitting man. Woman hitting man worse than man hugging woman without her consent and trying to block woman's path. Makes sense to me. A, a hour and a half travel to stock worse than 10 minute travel to stock. Makes sense to me. I explained this to her. You would have done it. She would have done everything had she been in my set of circumstances that she put me in. She would have gone more fucking insane. I mean, yeah. Okay, technically, should have been the big macho man when I walked away, when I ended our friendship that day, when I saw her at Starbucks. I should have been the big macho man and never looked back. Emotionally caved in. I feel like I have severe post-traumatic stress disorder from all the bullshit that she put me through. I fucking apologized for everything. Why? Why? I, she should have apologized first. Trying my best to fix everything. Can't forgive me for reacting to what she did to me that she hasn't apologized for. Doesn't feel bad, utter fucking disbelief. The whole thing is utter fucking bullshit and I wanna leave this fucking planet. Like, what the fuck? You look at that fucking conversation. Let's make out, okay, what the fuck? Let's make love? Who says that, make love? In my house? After coffee this Friday? And then she's like, okay, like, what the fuck? Like, 
come on, like that's fucking dangerous. You don't do that fucking shit. Like what the fuck is, like how troubled do you have to be? Like, and so disloyal too, and just like not even giving a fuck. He's like, are you sleeping with anyone at the moment? She's like, no, lying to him too, lying to me, keeping it all secret when you don't even fucking have to. Part of the agreement, yeah, was to like, you could have said I was gonna fuck him, and then could have told me, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this guy. I would have been like, okay, you didn't do that. You could have done that. It didn't have to be like this at all. It's just stupid, 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 stupid. Like, like the circumstances that I'm in are so fucking stupid and there's so fucking many of them of course I fucking went insane and then having no privacy about your sex life what the fuck that's just fucked up that's fucking just like are you like no like self value no dignity no self-respect no respect for me it's like dude look university graduate you are better than that Alana you are way 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 even as much as I fucking hate you you are still better than that. You are not that low. No, no, no. Like, what the fuck? No self-value at all. Like, how sad do you have to be? Like, and then give your phone number right away, meet him right away. Right after you tried your hardest to convince me to sleep with you again by promising to be exclusive, you couldn't stay loyal. You, like, like, you trying so hard and then you immediately like after you get what you want you fuck it up and you thought I would never find out but I did find out and you hate me because you got caught and now you're ex over exaggerating all the little mistakes I made I never fucking hit you never sexually assaulted you never did that shit every nitpicking inflating every just to compensate for your guilt it makes no fucking sense gonna go insane. I'm gonna go fucking insane. Her mom suffocating her. 10,000 profile views. How many guys do you think were like, wanna make, uh, make out? I was with her for four years. Best friend, first love, first girlfriend, first handhold, kiss. How could I have believed that I was so lucky to have you when any guy could have you. Doesn't care. Eh, whatever. I cheated on you. Meh, so what? I just promised because you were bugging me. Because I was refusing. She lied to fuck me. Therefore, did not have my consent. Because had I known, I wouldn't have fucked you. Eh, sexual assault, rape by fraud. I don't fucking know. That's probably stretching it. Alan is a man rapist. <gasps> nah, I... Uh, I, I, but it still makes me sick. Yeah, and then why were you gonna sleep with him? Cause he asked me to. I'm go fucking insane here, man. Fucking insane. Later on. <laughs> oh, well you didn't want to sleep with me anyway. But I promised I was going to. Your mom interrupted us and just telling my mom we were broken up. But we promised. And then, oh, I wasn't really gonna sleep with him. Ask her again, says nothing. Why didn't you just say I was gonna tell you right before sleeping with him that I was going to sleep with him? You made that agreement. You could have dug yourself out of that hole, but you, such stupid excuses, dug yourself, then me forcing myself, I'm not gonna believe it. I'm not gonna fuck it. No, I'm not gonna, just <laughs> ignoring it all. It was like ignoring the fucking elephant. Giant elephant, it's not there. No, it's a figment of my imagination. Like, she knows that, that she can't talk her way out of it. So what do you do? Apologize? Fuck that. Uh, I know. Yeah, just uh, over-exaggerate the mistakes I made, the little ones. I mean, yeah, okay. Like, and then I'm believing I'm like, the worst person ever. Feel so bad, and I'm like, wait a minute. She did the same shit. Worse. Why am I feeling so bad? Apologizing for everything, doing the right thing, even though she never apologized. You know, can't apologize, can't forgive. Explaining, it's nothing. It's in there. I just want to. I'm stuck in her area. I'm done with this world. I'm done. I'm done. I've gone through so much stupid, so much ignorance, stubbornness, hate, fucking emotions, interfering with logic. I wish we were all robots. Then again, that would suck because. It would just be so boring.
never wants to talk to me again? Am I so bad? I'm the boogeyman. Woo! The boogeyman. Fuck you. If I want to sit on a bench that's in free Wi-Fi, that's in the nice weather, I can do that. I can be anywhere I want, in or near my own area. I'm allowed to. When you fucking come out of nowhere, start throwing rocks in my face, ew, and then I can't maintain a happy, I don't give a shit persona when I'm bottling Satan, when you should be apologizing and shit. And just like, don't apologize to a cheater. You only tell her it's okay to cheat. It's not okay to overreact. No, but the cheating, that's fine.